Hi everybody, this is Tammy and welcome to the 7th annual Christmas on a Dime YouTube Hop Collab Challenge. Things are a little bit different this year, so definitely if you bypass the intro, make sure you go back and watch the intro. There's some um, information in there. And then also make sure that you read the information in the description box. That will have everything spelled out as well. Um, if you have any other questions besides that, definitely leave them in the comments and I will get back to you right away. So this year the hop is, or the collab is a little bit different. Um, there are some ladies, including me, who are basically the collaborators and we are going to be posting our videos on uh, Sunday, December 6th, sharing with you what we created, but this time instead of using $20 or less, we are using five dollars and previous in previous years we could use you know twenty dollars or less and even if we didn't use anything and only use the stuff in our stash this year we had to use at least five dollars so um, we were all given five dollars to spend on goodies to use for one project that we're going to be sharing with you today and um, and then we could use anything else in our stash but we had to spend at least the five dollars so what you're looking at is the items that I spent my five dollars on um, and then also the second part of this collab challenge is that we are inviting you to come and play along with us we are inviting you to spend five dollars and share your project on December 13th um, so definitely like I said everything is spelled out for you in the description box so make sure you check that out and also links to all the other ladies who are collaborating their links will be in the description box as well so let me share with you really quickly what I spent my five dollars on um, and then I will come back and share with you my finished project so these are the items that you're looking at so I purchased two of these picks from the Dollar Tree and um, I love these because they have a sprinkling of like snow on them there's uh, different types of greenery on them there's also some berries, there's leaves, there's a pine cone. So I picked up two of those. And then I also picked up some um, buffalo check ribbon. I picked up these ninja little swords. And then I picked up this little plaque that says, Baby, it's cold outside. So those are the items that I'm going to be using for my challenge item and I will be back to share with you what I created so before I show you my finished project let me share with you the items from my stash that I used I used some of this apple barrel red apple paint I used a few felt snowflakes I used some of these cork circles that I had purchased from Michaels a long time ago <laughs> I used some of this silver glitter tape and it's not washi it's actually paper tape and then I also used a couple of Jingle Bells in red and silver. And then I also used one other thing, but I only had one of them, and it is on my project. So I had seen this from Lowell's, um, I believe it was last year. It was $24.97. And I saw it, and I was like, I could probably DIY that. But at the time, I didn't have time to try to DIY it or to try to look for the stuff to create it. So when um, D, you know, came up with the new premise behind this year's swap or this year's hop and collab, I thought, hey, let me try that. So I was in Dollar Tree, and that's when I saw the um, the this little sword swords, and I was like, okay, I can make my skis. <laughs> so here they are, and I absolutely love them. I will try to put a picture because it is very big and. Um, and it's hard for me to show you so I will try to put a picture in the description box <clears throat> oh that's good um, so that's how they turned out so there are the skis here's the paper tape here are the cork circles the poles are the swords I cut the they had like side handles on them I cut those off here are the felt snowflakes this is the other piece that I had in my stash and these usually um, you can get them at Dollar Tree for I think it's like a five pack for a dollar 
and I only had one from probably like two years ago so I used that because the skis had a Merry Christmas sign on them so I put that one on there and then um, <clears throat> the two picks that I had shown you in the beginning um, I actually only used one and pine cones off of a second one so I could have gotten away with not buying the second one and only spending four dollars um, so here also is the ribbon. I tied it into a bow. Here are the jingle bells. And then um, I just took some white paint and like kind of like clumped it on different spots to make it look uh, like snow or make them look snowy. And then the pick already had like snow on it. So I just love, love, love the way this turned out. And I usually do a shabby chic Christmas and a shabby farmhouse Christmas in my living room area and then um, in my kitchen and dining room it's all um, traditional colors so this is definitely gonna go very nicely in that area so let me show you really quick how I cut the board so I had that board that was this what had the snowman on it so I cut two strips just using a ruler and an exacto knife I cut two strips that were three inches wide and then from the last piece it was about I would say it was about either two and a half to two and three quarters wide. So from that piece, I cut two more pieces that were three inches long. And then the other piece, I just threw it away. I didn't need it. So then I took these two pieces. I glued them on the top of these pieces to make them a little bit longer. And then I also just used my Tim Holtz scissors to curve out the top edge of those pieces. So it would give it the look of skis. But, oh my goodness, I just love this. I love it so much. And to think that I only spent about $5 on it is really, really awesome. So, I love this challenge, this hop, this collab. And I'm hoping that you're liking what you're seeing. Please make sure you stop by and um, subscribe and leave comments on all the other participants or collaborators' videos. Um, there will be links to their channels in the description box. Remember, all the details are in the description box, so read those. If you have any questions, then definitely leave the question in the comments, and I will reply to you as soon as I can. And also, if you are going to participate in the challenge, you have to um, post your video um, um, December 13th. Okay, so thank you so much, everybody, for watching and for joining us. Um, I... I'm really excited to see what everybody else created. So thank you again for, for stopping by. And I hope you're all having a really great day. Bye.